sales have exceeded expectations in the two months since recreational marijuana became legal in Missouri. But that's created some issues. KMBC nice Dennis Evans live at a dispensary in Grandview to explain. Dennis. You know, we were at this exact same dispensary on the first day that recreational marijuana became legal in the state of Missouri, and it was just packed out here, and it made me wonder, is this just kind of a buzz that's going with the first couple of days, the first couple of weeks of legal sales? The answer is no. The demand is definitely here. The question is, can these dispensaries keep up? It's sky high in Missouri. Mitch Alexander isn't just blowing smoke. The relief dispensary owner is breaking down the facts on recreational marijuana sales. Just over two months now, uh, and it's been nothing short of a zoo. The sales started off fast. There was a line out the door from day one of legal sales in Missouri, and since then, business just continues to bloom. It was every walk of life, but we're, it's like times four or five now. Business is so good that not even the potential of the recently passed local sales tax is expected to slow down sales. I see these municipalities cashing in on the same way we are, you know? So more power to them, it's gonna go to back into our own communities. There's plenty of cash to go around product, however, that's a different story. Simply put, the demand has met the available supply. Creating a challenge for dispensaries and suppliers, but there's still plenty of product on some shelves and more to come. There is a shortage. It's not what it used to be on the medical side, but we're facing that with, with as much adversity as we can. We're, we're conquering it. Well, Relief told me on that first day, they said we're stocking up. We want to make sure that we have plenty of product to go around. Very, very smart move. They have been able to keep product in. The sales tax, that passed, I think it was just about a week ago. However, it's being met with some legal challenges. So that has not gone through. Now, what a lot of people are doing is with that extra 3% sales tax, it's only on recreational not on the medical, so if you have a medical card, then you do not pay that extra sales tax. So it's kind of a little loophole that people can climb through if they want to avoid paying that uh, extra 3%. Reporting live in Grandview, Dennis Evans, KBC 9 News. Dennis, thanks. Marijuana in any form is still illegal in the state of Kansas.